All right, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the beautiful Eye Center, West Bloomfield High School. My name is Eric Pierce. I'm the district athletic director, and I am so happy to have everybody here in attendance for today. Uh, I've said it before a bunch of different times. The, the best, best days of an athletic director's year are signing days, and there's a reason for that. These student athletes up here, they've done the grind. They've done everything that's expected of them, and it's been multiplied by that much more this last year with everything that we've had to deal with, actually a little over a year now. You know, every single one of them has been affected by COVID and the pandemic, uh, whether it's the starting of the season, a pause, and then having to come back. I look at our swimmers that are up here. My goodness, you know, you were right before the state finals, and then the pause happened, and then they were expecting you, after you had tapered off already, to come back and start swimming again. Our football players that went through the playoffs with a pause in it, our cheerleaders that started their season, had to stop, okay, came back, didn't know what type of competitions they were going to be able to do. Our basketball team, okay, having a great season going, okay, and then unfortunately having to bow out of the playoffs because of the pandemic. Um, those are all things that are tough and that people have to overcome. And I am so proud of the way that you all have handled yourselves throughout the course of this year and throughout the course of your high school career. Okay, this is one of those experiences that you go through, you persevere, and, and it shows what you're made of. And I am so proud. I am so proud to see you guys up here and to have you here on this day and, and be signing your national letters of intent. It truly shows what you're made of. So congratulations for all of that, guys. We appreciate everything that you do. Um, we all know that this isn't possible without huge support systems as well, though. And the families that are all gathered here, uh, thank you for all that you do for our student athletes that are up here. Uh, it's, it's the nonstop driving to practices, uh, the counseling them, the making sure that they get fed, um, the making sure that they're stay, staying up with their schoolwork, all the different things that you do, the support you provide for the game nights or the meets or the matches. Uh, it's, it's, it's truly, it's truly a labor of love and you guys do it so well and, and they can feel your support and you'll see that with the thank yous obviously that they have today as we go through the program here. So thank you very much to all the families that are here. For our administration here at the high school, uh, all that you do to support our student athletes and to support our athletic programs. Uh, I can't thank you enough. You make my job a whole heck of a lot easier with the amount of support that you provide me. Um, so thank you for all of that. For our teachers who unfortunately uh, aren't here in attendance today, uh, the amount of mentoring that they do for these student athletes, uh, it, it really does go above and beyond in a lot of cases. So I want to thank them as well. And then our wonderful trainer, Amy Frazier, uh, keeping our student athletes healthy and safe and, and making sure that they're ready to perform and compete. Um, she's always here. You know, she does a fantastic job with what she does. Uh, so I thank her as well. Uh, the athletic department, uh, including Katrina Crane, Peggy Hool, Bruce Buffmeyer, all that they do for everything. Thank you. Uh, and I couldn't go on without mentioning our coaches. Um, the, the number of hours that they put in, uh, the fact that they're truly there for our student athletes, the fact that they look out for the best for all of them. I appreciate all that you do as well. So thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a great day. It really is. And I hope you guys realize all that you have accomplished throughout this time. This is, might have been a dream for you guys from the time you were going around in elementary schools and now you get to live out that dream. You get to go on and not only continue your academic career, but continue doing something that you love as well. That's something that not a lot of people have the opportunity to do. So congratulations to all of you. I really do appreciate you. And it's a great day to be a Laker. Thank you. Uh, as we go through the ceremony today, uh, a couple of things to remind you guys of. Number one, the sheets that are up front have all of these student athlete profiles in them. Please make sure that you grab a couple of those. You can send them to people. You can do whatever for people that aren't here. Um, our WestBloomfieldAthletics.com website. As we go through the ceremony today, you'll see that all the student athlete profiles are listed on the WestBloomfieldAthletics.com website as well so that you can send those links to your family, uh, obviously, that couldn't be here. I want to thank Civic Center TV, Tyler Keefe in the back right there. He's recording this right now so that we can send you guys a link after it's edited. So if somebody wants to view this in its entirety, we'll make sure that you have that information. Um, also, a little bit of a heads up about how we're going to continue on with today after I'm done speaking here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go right down the list and uh, we'll make sure that each one of the student athletes is talked uh, about by their coaches and then the student athlete will have a chance to come up and say their thank yous. Following those presentations, 
uh, will be the official ceremonial signing of the National Letters of Intent. And then uh, we'll go right into pictures for everybody. So I know everybody's going to want to make sure that they want to do that as well. So thank you again for being here today. We'll jump right in. And we're going to start off with our first signee for today. And that's going to be Lola Chambers. Uh, Coach Burt, I'll call you up here right now. Lola Chambers is going to be playing basketball at Central State University. How everybody doing? Pretty good? All right, right. Got to raise it up a little bit. Let me just take it off here. Make it a All right, first off, I uh, just want to say thanks to Lola for um, all of her hard work, dedication, sacrifice that she's given to the program here at West Bloomfield. You know, um, when I first got the job, she was one of the first players. She was a freshman, started with me getting a job. And, we wasn't that good our first year, you know, transitioning from me getting a job. And um, just seeing the way she's grown, uh, not only as a player, but as a young woman, uh, single-handedly, she's responsible, well, you know, partially responsible for the change and the, the culture of our program. So I'm just, I just want to say I'm thankful for her because um, without players like, like her, you know, we, we couldn't have accomplished some of the things that we accomplished over the last four years. You know, we uh, was fortunate enough to win two district championships, three league, league uh, championships in a row, and that it just wouldn't have happened without a player like Lola on the floor for us. So just want to say thank you, um, and I wish you all the success at Central State. I'm extremely blessed to be in this position. Um, a lot has happened over the four years. Um, I want to thank my family, my friends, my teammates that came out to support us. Um, basketball has been a, a great impact in my life, more than I would ever imagine. I'm excited for this next chapter. Um, thanks for all the love and support, whether you know it or not. Thank you. All right, thank you, Lola. Uh, next, we're gonna call Coach Mosley back up to talk about Jade Goodlow. Jade is gonna be playing basketball at Bluefield State College. Right, we're gonna leave it on here this time. I'm just gonna crouch down a little bit, but similar to Lola, Jade, was one of the first players that started with me coaching um, from day one. Jade has been a tremendous leader. Um, she's one of those type of players that'll do whatever you ask her to do, and that's what I really love about her. Uh, never gripes, you know. Even uh, in her highs and her lows, she kind of, you know, stays encouraged and try to do the best that she can do. And like I say, just with her, her and Lola, I remember um, their freshman year when um, we was, you know, at tryouts and. I was telling the girls who was going to be on the team. I brought those two in together. And um, when I told them that they made varsity, if you could just see how happy they were, you know what I mean? And their body language and everything that they brought to the program from that day forward, you know, has been just everything. Like I say, we could not have accomplished what we have accomplished over the last uh, four years if it wasn't for a player like Jade. Jade is an awesome player, great basketball IQ. So Bluefield State is getting a great player getting her. I'm just uh, super excited for you and I wish you nothing but success on the next level, Jay. Um, first, I want to thank God. Without him, I don't know where I would be. Second, I want to thank my parents for every sacrifice they've made for me throughout my life. I want to thank my team, who became my sisters, for pushing me. I want to thank the coaching staff for developing that fight mentality in all of us. I also want to thank my One Nation family for giving me an opportunity, as well as my trainers for believing in me. I want to thank my teachers and all the staff here at WB 
Thank you to everyone who took the time out of their day to help me, whether it was with basketball or academics. Thank you. Thank you, Jade. Uh, next, I'll call Coach Josh up. Coach Josh is going to speak on behalf of Megan Neely. Megan will be swimming at Alma College. All right, thank you. Uh, this, uh, this year was my first year here at West Bloomfield, um, and I really couldn't ask for a better group of athletes and students to come into a program with. Um, and those are both uh, recognized here with our two, um, but really with Megan, uh, it has absolutely uh, been a privilege and really impressive to see how she's been able to manage this year uh, with COVID, with our shutdowns, taking breaks. Um, not only athletically and still being able to perform at a high level, but also academically, <clears throat> excuse me, where um, not only is she graduating with high honors, um, but being able to graduate early with everything that's been going on um, and getting into a prestigious school like Alma, um, being able to continue both athletic athletically and academically is really um, just so impressive. And I can't wait to see what she does in the next few years, um, not only swimming, but really professionally and how she grows into, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a young adult. So congratulations, Megan. Um, I just wanna say thank you to my friends, family, coaches, and teammates for always encouraging me to achieve my goals. I'm forever grateful for that, especially in this unprecedented year, um, but I'll always appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. Uh, I'm going to call Coach Grace up now. Coach Grace is going to speak about Travis Reese. Travis is going to be playing football at Davenport University. Coach. Good afternoon, everyone. Coach Grace. Uh, thanks a lot, Coach. Uh, Travis Reese, great guy. Um, I'm excited that, that this opportunity has been presented to him. And he's going to move on to bigger and better things. And if you wonder why we won the state championship, is contributed by this man here because he made the last call for us in an overtime against Belleville. So he always tell me, Coach, you never listen to me. You never listen to me. I said, and that time I, I listened to him to that game, and he was a hard hitter for us as well. So I'm, I'm excited to have him out here uh, going, moving on to the next level. His coach was just out here uh, the other day. I was talking to him, and I said, Coach, you know what? You know you got to steal. He said, I know, Coach. I got to steal. And uh, I, I wish you well. You're going to do well at Davenport. Mom, keep me on the schedule. I would love to come down and visit once he get out there and play. And I wish you best of luck, Travis. Uh, I just want to thank uh, everybody for coming out here. First of all, thank you. I want to thank God for putting me this in. I want to thank my family, my mother, my sister, especially. I want to thank all my coaches, especially Coach Grice. Uh, he developed me into the linebacker I am today. I want to thank all the coaching staff, you know, the freshman coaches and the JV coaches. I want to thank all my teachers for keeping me uh, on, my, on my head about my academics uh, and all my friends and my brothers and my family and my teammates. Thank you. Thank you, Travis. Uh, we're going to keep Coach Grice up here right now, and we're going to talk about Jaden Rembert. Jaden will be playing football at Lawrence Technological University. Coach. All right, Jaden Rembert, you know, I think it's a great opportunity, Jaden, for you. You're close to home. Your parents get an opportunity to see you right down the street. Uh, Jaden's one of those guys, he was a quiet warrior, you know, on offense. I uh, focused mostly on defense, but what I knew about Jaden on, on offense is that he, he was a good catcher. He can catch that rock. You know, we was one of those teams that didn't throw a ball a lot last year versus years past, but I'm quite sure if we threw a ball as much as we did in the past, he'd be one of our top receivers in terms of numbers. But I'm happy for you. I'm grateful that you're part of this program, and I wish you the best of luck. And uh, again, we right up the street. I'm five minutes from your school. I'm always going to stop by and see some of our West Bloomfield players. Congratulations, and I wish you well. You know what's crazy? I 
been to a lot of signing days, um, some in person, some virtually. Um, honestly, I've seen, I've been on the other side where you guys are right now. I've been watching all my friends sign and saying congratulations to them. And honestly, I there was a point in time where I didn't know if I would be up here. Um, I didn't know if I would be thanking my beautiful parents for providing me with the tools and just the overall love that made me into the man I am today. I don't know if I was gonna be able to thank my loving grandma for giving me the power hugs that I need every time I see her. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to thank my favorite person in the world, my sister sitting right in front of me. I didn't know, but I guess who I do now. Thank you. Thanks, Jaden. Uh, next, we're gonna call Coach Brandy up. Coach Brandy is gonna speak on behalf of Asiana Rice. Asiana is gonna be cheering at Rochester University. Coach. So I've had the pleasure of working with Asiana these past two years, and um, she is such a hard worker. She's dedicated, she's outgoing, she's a leader. She helped push our team this year as the only senior on my competitive team this year. And she is just, she's an amazing person. She has a beautiful soul. She's a spo outspoken, she's loving, and she always gives people her flowers. So I just wanna give you your honor and your fl flowers. And I'm so thankful and I'm so glad that you decided to attend because she was on the fence about originally going to college. And I'm so glad you decided to attend Rochester University. And I know you're gonna make a huge difference there and you're gonna be a great cheerleader. So congratulations and best of luck. Hello. <laughs> I just wanted to thank God and my beautiful mom for like pushing me through everything. She been guiding me through since I was little and I wanted to like give a bigger shout out to my brother. He's not here. But those two really been my like my support team and I'm like super happy to have people like you in my in my life. And I want to give a, another shout out to Brandy for just pushing me and and just making me into this athlete that she has for these last two years. And I want to thank everybody else here. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Asiana. Uh, next, we'll call Coach Josh back up. Coach Josh is going to speak on behalf of Maddie Smith. Maddie will be swimming at Albion College. Coach. Uh, so, like I said, when I uh, came up here for Megan, you know, being in my first year here at West Bloomfield, um, I had known Maddie before, coaching here in the summer, but it was really a great honor to have her again, uh, spend more time with her, and really see how she excels in that last year. Um, I know the football uh, team had a rough time of things in the fall there at the end of everything, um, and we faced the same thing, but her desire to swim well, her motivation and everything really helped us push through as a team as a state relay going into state meet um, and really carried us uh, not only in the pool, um, but just with motivation and mentality on deck. So it's been a great honor and I really can't wait to see what she can bring to Albion's swim team and see her success there for the next few years. Congratulations, Maddie. Uh, hi, I would like to thank my parents and my coaches and family and my brother and sister and like my best friend Lauren here <laughs> for basically pushing me in like any and every sport that I do. I would not be able to be here standing here committing to Albion without their support and my mom driving me to all my practices and meets like travel everywhere. The amount of gas money that <laughs> we put in is a lot, but um I just want to say thank you to the West Bloomfield staff, too, for pushing me academically um, and athletically, because without them, I would not be able to be committing to Albion. So thank you. Thank you, Maddie. Uh, I'm going to call Coach Brandy back up. Uh, Coach Brandy is going to speak on behalf of Kennedy Stewart. Kennedy will be cheering at Davenport University. Coach. 
Um, I could go on and on about Kennedy. This girl kept me on my toes, um, but I wouldn't change her for anything. She is full of talent. This girl is a powerhouse, and I know she's going to bring it at Davenport University. They are, they're going to have, they're going to be, uh, they're going to, they're blessed to have you there. Um, but I just want to thank you also for being a leader on my team. She was the captain the past two seasons for us, and and um, I know she's going to lead and do well in Davenport. So congratulations and thank you. <laughs> okay, so I want to thank God because without him, I would not be able to be here. I want to have give a special thanks to my coaches all in the past, as well as the staff for pushing me academically, because especially without that piece, I wouldn't be able to, com um, to commit, I'm sorry. And then I would also like to give a special thanks to my mom for doing everything on her own for me for the past 18 years now, and thank you. Okay, uh, before we get on to Jake Ward, um, who's gonna be our last signee for the day, uh, I just wanna take a moment to mention Braden Turner. Uh, Braden was nervous about missing his baseball game today, so he wanted to, wanted to make sure that he got there on time to, to get there for pregame, uh, even though Coach Bernberg told him it was completely fine, and obviously, but. Uh, so uh, Braden will be going to Henry Ford Community College to play baseball there, so if we could all just give him a round of applause, even though he's not here. They're playing Farmington today, by the way, a very important league game. Uh, but anyways, um, next we're going to talk about Jake Ward. Uh, I'm going to call Coach Grice back up here to present on Jake's behalf. Jake will be kicking and playing football at the University of Central Arkansas. Jake Coach. Right. Jake the Snake. <laughs> Anybody know me around, I always call him Jake the Snake when he come up there and kick those balls. But I am so proud of him. He don't realize how important he is to this team. And he tell me all what we talk about all the time. I say you my MVP on defense because if you kicking that ball deep every time, it's a long drive for the offense to try to score on us, and that gave us tremendous field positions and opportunities to uh, stop teams. So for me as a defensive coordinator last year, he was my MVP, one of my MVPs, I should say. And uh, I am so proud. I remember last month Drake. Um, uh, Jake called me and said, Coach, I don't have no offers. Help me out. Help me out. And, you know, we start calling around and mom called and we started trying to help because this guy deserved opportunity. He, he deserved it. I mean, what was the field goal in the championship game? 45 year field, 45 old, 45 yard field goal. That was, that was tremendous at uh, Ford Field. And that's a, that's a memory he can never take away. And I am so proud of you. They're going to get a great kicker, they're going to get a great teammate. And your commitment to the program and I always tell we have a tradition here at West Bloomfield if you're leaving to school as a kicker you got to bring us one back so that's how he came on board with us uh, I was just reading an article of your profile and how our kicker the year before him called him up and said hey we need a kicker so we want to continue that tradition and this summer you got to find me a kicker before you go out to college <laughs> deal congratulations happy for you appreciate you Let me tell you, never in a million years would I imagine I would be here signing my letter of intent to play football in college. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's helped me along the way, family, friends, the entire West Bloomfield staff and faculty, always pushing me to be the best that I can be. And a big thank you goes out to Nick O'Shea, who, as Coach was talk <clears throat> talking about, he pretty much recruited me to kick. He's the one who trained me to be the one that I ended up becoming to be. And then a big shout out to both my parents, always with the love and support that they've constantly showed me and taking me to camps, flying me out here and there. It just means the world, and I wouldn't be where I am today without them. So thank you. Hey, thank you, Jake. Uh, obviously, you can see we have a wonderful group of honorees up here. Um, outstanding, outstanding inside the classroom and out, just like we talked about earlier. And, and truly, some of the best that West Bloomfield has to offer as a school district. So thank you again for all that you do. If everybody could please grab those West Bloomfield athletic pens that are right there, yours to keep. And go ahead, and this is the moment we've been waiting for, signing the sheet right there. 
And then right after that, guys, we can come on up and take pictures. Thank you so much for being here today. As I said earlier, it is a great day to be a Laker. Thank you so much.